as these ripples from distant merging supermassive black holes pass, uh, the uh, pulses are affected. So they can be a little blue shifted or red shift a little bit because um, of, the, of the delay or because of the changing space time between us and the pulsars. And so it's this effect that we're hoping to observe um, by creating what we call a pulsar timing array. The idea is we're going to have radio, we already have this in place, many radio telescopes around the Earth observing pulsars regularly, typically once a month. Uh, something like 30 to 40 pulsars right now are being observed typically once a month at radio telescopes around the world. And the idea is by combining all the signals from the pulsars, eventually we're hoping we'll be able to detect gravitational waves from sources like merging supermassive black holes. We're hoping that this will be the next neutron star gift, uh, the d direct detection of gravitational waves.